Hey there guys, so in this video I wanted to show off a cool project that I found on GitHub the other day called Retrobar. Now, Retrobar does exactly what you'd think it would do. It is basically an application that looks like the older versions of the Windows taskbar. It hides your modern taskbar and replaces it with this one, and I think it is very cool. Uh, we have a whole bunch of themes out of the box. We have the Windows ME version, we have the Windows 9X versions, and we have the Windows Luna theme. Um, we can see all these themes that it supports here. Um, now, you can also make your own custom themes if you would like to, of course. Um, and I'm going to just go one by one through it. So you can download it from the Releases tab here, of course. Uh, I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to close out of this. And we're going to open the Retrobar EXE here. And as you can see, it does its magic. It replaces the taskbar with this one. So. We're going to go to the properties and we're going to check out every single theme here. So this is the system theme. I'm not too sure what exactly it is trying to emulate here, but uh, we're going to just go with it. Uh, we have the watercolor theme, which is based off the beta version of the Windows XP theme from uh, Windows Whistler. We have the Windows 2000 theme, which is exactly as it would sound like. It is the Windows 2000 theme. Um, we have the Windows 95 theme here, of course, it just changes the colors and the font. Uh, we have Windows Me, oops, that's Windows XP, but we have Windows Me, again, it just changes the colors. <laughs> um, and we have Windows XP. The Windows XP one is probably my favorite, and it's probably because I grew up with Windows XP. <laughs> it takes me back just a little bit. And of course, we have the Windows XP Classic, which I'm pretty sure is just Windows ME, but, you know, changes the fonts and the start button and the logo. Yeah, so uh, we're going to stick with uh, Windows XP Blue for now, since it is my favorite. Now, there, uh, this works quite well, but because I'm Windows, on Windows 11, some of the things don't really work too good. Uh, you can open the time and date settings from here, of course. Um, I lost my cursor for a second there. Uh, we can open up our sound. Uh, we could if it would work. Um, again, that's not a fault of Russia Bar. That has everything to do with the fact that this doesn't target Windows 11 specifically. Uh, we can mess with our Wi-Fi settings, of course, and that's not working because, again, I'm on Windows 11. Uh, we can open up our battery preferences, or we could. Uh, we have all of these little uh, tasks that we have running and we can just right click on them and mess around with them as we please. Of course, we have our pinned applications here. And if we go to properties, we can actually mess with our quick launch as well. Uh, but you can just, you know, open up your open up your stuff. Um, we have our start button, which opens up the start button, of course, <laughs> the start menu. And if you had the uh, OpenShell application, you can actually go a step further and mess around with the themes of your of a uh, more traditional classic start menu. I'll link that in the description as well. Um, but that is pretty much the basic crux of the Retrobar application. Uh, I think you're going to like it. And with that being said, thank you for watching.